Hey guys, welcome to Costing Tips and Tricks with KSJ Teaching. I hope you all are doing really good. So guys, if you haven't still subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important tips that I share with you. And also do not forget to hit the like button and share with all your friends. And one very important thing, just tell me in the comment section, I want to see how many people are really, really serious about the studies. Write in the comment section that, sir, we are aiming for exemption in cost accounting. I want to see how many of you are seriously preparing for exemption in the cost and management accounting uh, for the CA course also and for the CMA course also. I want to see the number of people who are really interested in this. Okay, so guys, what is the tip now? What is the tip for this part? The tip is related to your process costing. So in the process costing, we have studied one topic that is valuation of WIP. We have studied about valuation of WIP. In that, we have already studied that there are two methods uh, by which we can value our closing WIP. One is the FIFO method and the another one is the weighted average method. We call it as VAM. Okay. Now, what is the problem here? The problem here is that, sir, sometimes in the exam, we get a question which can be solved by the FIFO method also and the weighted average method also. Now, this is the beauty of this topic. Sir, the same question can be done by FIFO method and the same question can be done by the weighted average method. In the exam, you might get a question where the method is not specified. And this has actually happened. This has actually happened in the one of the previous attempt where the method was not specified that which method you have to follow for the valuation. And there was a clear cut indication that which method should be followed. So I'm going to tell you one thing about this now. Sir, which method to follow? Which method to follow? See, if the question is silent as to which method should be followed, the first thing that you have to do is look for the degree of completion. Look for the degree of completion. Degree of completion of what, sir? Degree of completion of opening WIP. Degree of completion of opening WIP, right? This is the first thing that you have to see in the question that degree of completion is given to you or degree of completion is not given to you. This is the thing that you have to see. If the degree of completion is not given to you, then you cannot apply the FIFO method. In that case, the only method that you can apply is weighted average method. And if the degree of completion is given to you, then you can apply any of the methods, either FIFO method or weighted average method and give a note at the bottom. Now, what happened in one of the questions which was asked in the examination in that the opening degree of completion was not given. So this was the scenario, but the people got confused that which method should be applied. So some of them assumed uh, that FIFO method and assumed the degree of completion to be 150-50. Right. But that is not the right way to do it. OK, so if the degree of completion is not given to you, use the weighted average method. And if the degree of completion is given to you, you can use any of the methods FIFO or VAM. Just give a note to that effect. OK, so this was an important part that how to identify that which method should be applied in the exam in case of valuation of WIP in case of process costing right so i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks stay safe stay healthy thank you so much